Hello, Larry. This is wonderful that you're able to be with us today. You are actually the chairman of what here in, in Jefferson County? It's the Jefferson County Veterans Council. And what are some of the things you guys do? Well, we uh, support the DAV van by providing drivers, and uh, the van takes veterans to the Louisville VA Center and surrounding clinics. So we provide the drivers and also uh, maintain the vehicle. There's some unique things that you have going on right now for the veterans, and it's not just for the veterans that are currently using your facility or your, your donations or whatever, but there's some things going on for veterans that were in the past. And what is that, what is that cool thing that you're doing at the courthouse? Well, the big thing we're doing now is really great news. We're uh, putting in a veterans war memorial, the people that got uh, lost their lives during wars, World War I, to Korea War and Vietnam. And uh, we're also adding John Menke's name. So you're just doing a, a major upgrade in addition to the memorial that was there? Yeah, it's a major upgrade, uh, and also we're making it handicap accessible, new lighting, and uh, a place to reflect. So we're putting a bench in for people to reflect, so we're making it uh, appeasing that way. Yeah, sometimes people don't think about it, but if a veteran has lost their life or if they've passed away, there's family members left, and they want a place to go and, and to think about their loved ones, and so this will give them that that spot. Madison is a small town and there's a lot of descendants from the veterans that's names on the monument so yes we hope they come down and uh, reflect a little bit. So. That's wonderful. Now when's the date for the actual unveiling? Okay the uh, the dedication ceremony is July the 4th at 11 o'clock so we have a great agenda set up and uh, we have some guest speakers we have some Rolling Thunder people local that's going to do come through on their motorcycles and uh, it's just going to be a great day July the 4th 11 o'clock that's wonderful we that's want all the public to come down that's regatta weekend so there'll be plenty of people here yes, it to is. be part of this yes so that's we, great we hope a lot of people turn out and I think it's going to be a real nice program and a solemn occasion also we're going to have some descendants uh, laying wreaths for the wars so there'll be one for World War One, two, Korea Vietnam and the Persian Gulf for John Manke, so. so. Joe, you're involved in all this stuff with the Veterans Memorial, and you have a very big passion for this. I sure do, I, I sure do. As uh, I'm, I'm honored to be uh, Vice Chair of the Jefferson County Veterans Council, as well as the Jefferson County uh, Veterans Service Officer, so um, I get to have the privilege of working with veterans every day. Um, helping them with benefits, helping their dependents and families with benefits, and uh, it's a rewarding job. And when uh, the council decided to uh, take on this project of uh, revamping the War Memorial, um, I thought it was a great project. And uh, the guys on the Jefferson County Veteran Council have really stepped up and done a great job in making this project happen. And I think it's something we need, and it's going to be a great way for the city of Madison and, and the county of Jefferson County to show um, other visitors and to show each other the pride and uh, passion we have for those people who sacrificed for us that were from here in all the major wars. Um, our, our previous memorial was a, a great memorial, but it was definitely time to update. We needed to add a new name to it. Um, unfortunately, we may need to add more names in the future. And uh, I think this is going to be a, a really respectful and beautiful way for people to see how we feel about our veterans and how much it means to us to honor them and uh, have them not be forgotten. Um, as time goes on, people forget. So I think it's important for uh, folks in Jefferson County to look at that memorial when they're downtown, have it be prominent and uh, mean something to them. And uh, with being a small town that we are in a small community, just to take the time to read the names and you'll be surprised how many people you know with that name and it winds up being relatives of, uh, of sometimes friends of yours, sometimes your relatives. So it's, it's important. Alan, tell us a little more about the fundraising side of this, because you've done a lot of work with as far as getting the funds raised for this monument. Well, we have approached several businesses uh, and the local um, government uh, agencies, and now we are in the public side trying to uh, get as much as we can in order to cover our cost. Uh, we are currently in a delta, but we are pressing ahead. Uh, we do have funds to cover it, but we would be suffering from the van program that Larry mentioned earlier and uh, we hope not to have to do that. 
Uh, we are in target to meet our goal in terms of uh, the stones being installed and, and, and that stuff. Uh, but we can always use help. So these funds actually will go back to replace what you've taken out, which is important for the veterans to be able to have the services they already have and not have to slack in any of those. That is very correct, yes. So we really need to make sure people understand that the donations are important. Right, the donations are important. Um, and, um, you know, no, no amount is too small and no amount is too big. Well, we'll see if we can't get some more don donations headed your way. Awesome. So that'll be great. Yes. Now, with all this work that you all are doing, you have forms that can be filled out. And then when people donate to this monument, what type of recognition are they getting? They are actually going to be remembered in some way during this, aren't they? Well, absolutely. Um, we're definitely at that phase where um, we've, we've had Alan talking before about getting some donations. Um, we're online to keep the project rolling for our dedication on uh, Tuesday, July 4th. Um, it's going to be wonderful. It's, we'll shut down Main Street in front of the courthouse and have a great celebration there with some speakers and won't go too long but on a hot day, but it'll be a great celebration. Um, but we do need some funds, um, and we're out here asking the community, and it could be businesses, it could be individuals, it could be groups of people. If you want to form a group to help raise money, do an event to raise money, whatever you can do, we would gladly help us out with the funding. And it doesn't have to be in before the dedication. It'd be great if it is, but we'll be accepting funding uh, from here on out uh, for the project. Um, we've been able to come up with some of the funds, but they're from other places, so we'd like to be able to replenish that. Um, we, have a, we have a great way to donate with a check. We can take checks or money orders, and I have an address here. I'll read it off. It's uh, the Jefferson County Veterans Council, and you can put attention on your check or on your envelope to the War Memorial, and any funds that are dedicated to that will go straight to this fund. Um, and we have a P.O. Box out in Hanover. It's P.O. Box 302 in Hanover, Indiana, 47243. Um, you can always call my office, the Jefferson County Veterans Service Office, at 812-265-3600. Get this address. Or if you want to drop, if you're downtown, you want to drop a check off, big checks, whatever you want to drop off, you can always drop them off at the office there. Me or one of the staff would be, be glad to take it, make sure it gets into the hands of the council uh, and goes to where it needs to go. Um, we are going to be um, at our dedication ceremony, which is open to everybody. Um, we will have a program for that, and we'll also be listing all the people who donated in there as a thank you to them for donating, as well as we'll be following up with some television and some uh, print and some radio thank yous and advertising afterwards to thank folks for donating. So, I think this is wonderful. This is going to be an amazing thing that you all are doing. But I think, too, we need to make sure people really understand that they, they have the money, for it, but it's being taken from areas where it's needed for like the bus to take them down to Louisville to the hospital or other things that they're giving them. So that money's going to replenish that. Absolutely. So it's very important that they donate in some way. Yeah, I so mean, every, like the Jefferson County Veterans Council, which is, a, a, which is comprised of mostly all the veterans organizations in the county. We all have a, one or two more representatives that sit on the council, and uh, the main purpose is the Disabled American Veterans Van. So they help to get veterans to appointments in Louisville and New Albany who need a ride, and that's a really important service. Uh, it's always in need of funding, and it's definitely in need of drivers. And if you want to volunteer to be a driver for the DAV van, that would be wonderful. Any contact information, once again, you can come through my office, 812. 265-3600, and our physical location is 315 Jefferson, the courthouse annex, the old JC building. So if anybody wants to drive, you know somebody that wants to drive, volunteer, any amount of time would be great. It's always looking for drivers, and uh, we would love to get the funding in to be able to cover the complete cost of the memorial. Well, that's, that's even neater because they can volunteer for a half a day or every Tuesday or whatever's needed to be done. So that, that would be another way to give back. That's Absolutely. Great. I do want to plug one more thing yeah, if I go could. Ahead. No, you can really uh, hit anything. One of the other uh, great efforts of the council this year is uh, we're independently putting on, it's the second annual stand down for veterans here in Jefferson County. Uh, last year we kind of helped uh, assist a group that put it on and this year it was ours to put on. So it's going to be um, right here at the American Legion Post 9, downtown Madison on June 15th. Uh, it's a Thursday. And uh, from 10 to 2, 10 to 2 o'clock. And wh what it is, it's basically a service fair for veterans um, and definitely for at-risk veterans and their families. So we're going to try to provide not only information but as many services as possible. 
uh, will be set up here. My office will be set up. We'll be, be able to do applications for uh, VA health care for veterans on site. We'll have to be able to do, uh, help them find their records, do records locations, get them in our databases. Uh, Rob Lee Rex VA Medical Center out of Louisville is going to have a big presence here. They'll have people here helping to do intake. Um, people can learn about all kinds of services for homeless veterans, at-risk veterans. Um, and we really wanted to slant this project to our community. So we've got tons of great support through the Clearinghouse and Work One have really jumped in and they're co-sponsoring the event with us. I can't do it without them and all the services they're providing. So it's a way for veterans to come get together. We're going to have some food. Um, they can come through the Legion and see all the different uh, vendors, not only locally with VA and local vendors who can help them out with any services they may need. So it's a, our second annual event and we're looking to keep that growing. So that's coming up on June 15th. Well, that's great. So we're going we're gonna to have to do another story about that one then. I think we should. <laughs> I think we should. All right. So, well, as, it, as they've all told you, you need to keep this in mind. And if you can help out in any way with the donations, um, volunteering, whatever it is that you need to do, just make sure that you give them a call. And the number's below, so you can find out how to get in touch with them in any way. And Joe will be glad to he'll help you out. He's really friendly, and so are the rest of the guys on the board. So try to see what you can do to help these fellows out. Absolutely. That'd be great. And as always, we thank you for watching.